Hello friends, Lee here from Tabletop Bong. Thanks for joining me. In this video, I'm going to share with you probably the most important thing I'm actually ever going to teach you. I'm going to teach you how I removed resistance from my manifesting efforts in almost instantly. It, it just took a simple truth and understanding to really shift everything for me. So I thought, you know what, let's get together, let's have a sesh, and I'm going to break this down for you, and I'm going to explain to you exactly, you know, what this thought is and how to work with it. I mean, not very many times am I going to say this to you guys, but please watch this whole video, okay? Don't skip forward. This isn't about the huge clouds. This is really, this is, could be life-changing if you embody the information, okay? So put it on your watch later list if you can't watch it now, but make sure you come back and watch the whole thing. Uh, okay, so let's just get right into it. What am I even talking about here? I'm not going to spend a lot of time beating around the bush. I learned something about manifesting, and when I really took it in, I had heard it different ways, but I didn't really take it in. But once I took it in, man, everything really began to shift and change. So I wanted to share this information with you guys. And here it is. I'm going to drop it right now. When manifesting, the part of your mind that is activated to create in the universe and, and to, you know, have something matching drawn toward it, okay? There's a part of our mind that amplifies this energy. That part of our mind, we use it all the time when we're manifesting, which is really and truly with every thought, right? All right, so that part of our mind, this is it, guys, deletes negative words. Okay, think about that for a minute. The part of our mind that we use for manifesting deletes negative words. So, if you're going to a party and you know you may run into your ex and you continue to think to yourself, I do not want to see my ex at that party, the part of your mind that is going to create in the universe is going to delete and throw away the negative words from that sentence. So you're going to be left with this massive amount of vibration and charge in yourself. And what is it fueling the sentence that is being heard and reacted to in the universe is I want to see my ex at that party because do not was thrown away. The unconscious, the manifesting part of the mind will not accept, does not accept negative words. That part of the mind only works on what you want. <laughs> All right, think about this for a minute. You know what? I'm going to pack a bowl while you just spend one second and think about the implication of this. Just consider for a second how many times in a day you think about avoiding something? How many times in a day do you consider something you don't want in your experience? Right? <laughs> so if our manifesting part is deleting the don't want and we're thinking a lot about something that we're avoiding, something that is uncomfortable for us, guess what we're going to get? We're going to get more of that thing. That's exactly what we're going to get because... The, that part of our mind will just delete those negative words. Cheers. I'm using a Terp Hammer today, wireless ball vape, with my walnut tabletop bong and a microdose bowl from, uh, this is uh, the microdose bowl for the screwball makes a, a really nice combo. I quite enjoy this combo. Okay, so guys, think about this for a minute. Think about it. Take this in. This is huge if you really, really consider it for a minute. We spend a lot of time in our life being told what to be afraid of. <laughs> we spend a lot of time, you know, trying to avoid pitfalls of life. Well, if what I'm telling you is true and we're considering the pitfalls of life, we're absolutely going to go right into the pitfalls of life. 
aren't we? That part of the mind deletes negative words. That part of the mind only understands positive thought. Whatever you're thinking, that part of your mind is positive. You want it. That part of your mind is positive. It should bring that uh, or something that matches it into your experience, especially when you have all kinds of vibration. It's very easy to enter the feeling of fear and have a lot of vibration. But that's not the kind we want because the negative part will get deleted and we will be sure that's what we want to attract more into our life and then we're going to get more of it. So, you know, somebody who has a, a fear of spiders, for instance, and is constantly thinking about spiders being around will see more spiders than anybody else, I assure you. Think about it. There's, it's really, really easy to put this to the test in your real life, like in your actual normal life. Pay attention to people's uh, communication patterns that are close to you and, and see how many people talk about the things that they don't want and their fears. And then take a look at how circumstances often play out for them. It's very easy to see this when we're observing others. Sometimes it's a little harder when we're looking at ourselves, right? <laughs> We've all got that built-in mechanism where we can, you know, clearly and objectively see what's happening for somebody else. <laughs> Maybe not so much for ourselves, though. So consider this just for a minute. If you see somebody who is in that place that is always considering the things that they don't want and is avoiding, 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 <laughs> their life is probably uncomfortable, to say the least, right? They're going to be in an uncomfortable circumstance because their fears are going to be being shown to them over and over and over because they're spending so much time in that. The easy answer to that, every time fear comes up, really the easiest answer to it is 180 degrees. That's my answer. 180 degrees. <laughs> so that thing is telling me, don't go here. It's going to be scary. There's a threat. Okay. What if I just turn around and go the other way? Probably should be all right. And then I can get my bearings. I can start thinking about where I want to go next instead of worrying about that fear thing. I've just moved away from the threat and I'm back moving towards safety. So I'm just thinking, yeah, I'll just go the exact opposite way. Okay, it's, it's not that difficult, right? Like you can just turn around and, and be done with it. So let's take the example of running into an ex at, at the party, right? What happens if you decide instead of, why do you not want to run into the ex? I, of course, most people don't want to run into the ex because it's going to be awkward. It's going to create a scene. There's going to be a problem. It's going to be uncomfortable. Nobody's going to want that, right? So that's a pretty easy thing to want to avoid. What happens, though, just think about this for a second. If what I'm saying is true, and I'm telling you to just do a 180, okay? So you go 180 from that, so what, I don't go to the party? No, 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 that's not what I'm saying at all. If you go to the party, you don't want to run into that person because it's going to be uncomfortable. So 180 is running into that person and it being comfortable. <laughs> Imagine, just hang on a second. Ooh, as hang on. <laughs> What if running into the person was comfortable? What if it was just fine? What if it wasn't a problem at all? And what if the next time after that you were gonna run into them because it worked out so well this time? The next time you're gonna run into them is gonna be fine too and you could just totally let that go and just drop it because you did a 180. You decided perhaps it was gonna be okay to run into that person and that you would lead with your best foot and so would they and somehow, you know, the fact that you're no longer together, for instance, right? Maybe that was what needed to happen for you to be able to appreciate each other again. You don't know until you're in it. <coughs> if you program yourself for a positive outcome, chances are it's going to be a positive outcome. And if it's not perfectly positive, it will be for you. And it may not be for the other person because they may not be in the same place as you. And that's okay. But you just continue to look at what you want and you'll continue to receive it. It's pretty interesting. So you can just flip 180 from, from the negative and you should be moving in the right direction at least long enough to recalibrate 
and, and to get yourself going exactly where you want to be going again. So what does this mean in our real lives? Think about this for a minute. People say sentences like, uh, <laughs> hope for the best, but prepare for the worst. Have you ever heard that? <coughs> well, that's going to get you the worst because <laughs> there's, there's no way that works together. You can't, it, it just doesn't work that way. You have to see what you want and you just need to move toward it. You have to have some, some belief and some faith that you're going to receive either the thing that you want or the version of it that is actually what you need. And that's the most important part. Sometimes you don't get exactly what you want, but you get exactly what you need in your life experience to get you to the next level or to the next point or to wherever it is you need to be next. The part of your mind that manifests deletes negative words and gives you whatever you're asking for. I really want you guys to understand this truth. If you continually look at what you want, imagine how much happier of a human being you're going to be. Sure, things are going to come up that aren't always positive. Well, that's part of the test, isn't it? <laughs> isn't that part of the human experience? If you're always happy, then there's nothing to contrast, right? There's no balance. So there's got to be things that come up so that you have you know which direction to go. Right? You, you have to have those things of, of little bits of pain, little bits of fear to come up to show you, oh, move in that 180 direction and then recalibrate into what feels best. It just keeps steering you. It, you know, it's all part of your, your human experience. The, those little things are also part of the manifesting because what you're thinking about and considering when you're creating positive circumstances for yourself is you also need things to continue to motivate you and to move you forward in those positive and healthy times. And quite often, um, you know, it's a kick in the ass that gets you moving versus a reward down the road. So sometimes, you know, we'll manifest some little thing to create some fear so that we know which direction to go again. And it pushes us forward if we don't stay there and, and enter it, you know, we have to just keep moving beyond it and keep focused on where we want to go. Along the way in life, there's all kinds of things that will distract you and will, will take you off course. But I promise you, the more you implement this truth into your thought process, the happier your life will be, your manifesting efforts will remove resistance organically. They just fall to the wayside. Why? Because you're not giving it any attention, so there's no need to attract more of it. You don't need to do anything with it at all. Just turn away, 180, and Focus on the things that you want and keep your mind there. Stay playful in it. Make it all about, you know, creating stories or reels or whatever you want to do in your mind. Little snippets of, you know, great, great things that are going to be part of the experience when you've achieved whatever, you know, that goal is that you're manifesting and, and realizing that we're always manifesting. So when things come up in our daily life, just the simple little things, you know, you're having a conversation with your partner and your partner says something that you're not really fond of. And, you know, then you start thinking about the things you don't want to happen because that was said. And all of a sudden there's, you can jump right in and interrupt that pattern right there and start thinking about, you know, what if I did this a little bit differently? What if I said, hey, that bothers me because of this and I'm going to communicate differently and I'm going to see this really positive and healthy outcome and I'm going to be really happy that that thing ends up in the past after maybe doing this once or twice or a few times and I'm going to have the patience with my partner to do that because it's really important. <laughs> All of a sudden, that's a whole lot better than getting pissed off about something that, you know, you just don't say anything about and then you hang on to and you think about and you think about and then you get more of that, don't you? Right? Like, there's all kinds of places you can just put this truth into your life and change everything. You can change every relationship. You can change your work life. You, you can change your, you know, your downtime. 
you, you can change everything. You can really start to manifest the things that you truly want because you're putting your conscious effort and your unconscious effort both on the same thing, <laughs> which is achieving and uh, receiving, right? That's the thing. We have to be able to receive. And if we're, if we're not in the place to do that, because we haven't yet decided what we truly want, we've just decided what we don't want and what we need to avoid. And we've thought those things, you know, we're going to get shown those things up close and personal <laughs> so that we know that that's not what we want. And hopefully it will turn us around. And, you know, the universe is really magical in the sense that it will show you these things over and over and over. Your life experience is an absolute mirror uh, to, to how, how you're doing with your, you know, with <laughs> staying focused on what you want, right? Really and truly, your life is a mirror to that. So with that, you know, basic truth in mind, I'm going to ask you to just notice for the next hour or two hours or three hours or a day when you're interacting with other people, how many people communicate in fear and avoidance versus how many people communicate in driving forward toward what they want. Here's the easiest way to sum it up. And this is going to really show you uh, and it'll help you see yourself in the end. And that's the whole point. It's not about judging others. But when you see the patterns of others, then all of a sudden it starts to strike a chord when we have those same things. We've observed it enough times without an emotional attachment. When it does surface in us, we can recognize it a little bit differently. And that's the whole point. It's certainly not about judging somebody else, right? And it's, you know, that's their journey. This is your journey. Um, <clears throat> but when when you do that uh, and, and you pay attention to how how this begins to play out and then you start to shape your thoughts around this, you'll see very, very quickly that the resistance just begins to dissolve in front of you. That's for sure. And you'll feel like a much happier, more balanced person because as things come up, you have a way to deal with them instead of avoidance, right? You you have a way to deal with it. You're going to move in another direction with the lesson in mind. And that's the whole point. Most of the time is we need the lesson of the fear. So let's just take the lesson and turn around and go the other way. And let's keep creating in the positive. Because the part of our mind that we use for manifesting deletes all negative terms <laughs> and delivers to us exactly what we're asking for. All right, my friends. I think we're going to leave it right there. I hope you enjoyed this and you got something out of it. If you have any question about anything I've said, please watch this back again. Take this and, and get experimental, get playful in your life. Become an observer of other people and see how many people are living their life in a way that is moving towards something, which those people have understood to do a 180 from the fear and they're moving towards something. Then there's other people that are running from something. They are with the fear and they're running away from something. So we seem to move that way in life. We're either moving toward a goal or we're running away from something we fear. Doesn't seem to be anything in the middle, right? So this simple truth <laughs> coupled with that basic understanding, you know, can really help you get moving toward the thing that you want out of your life. All right, my friends, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and got something out of it. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe button. Until next time, take care.